more reason for us not to fuck this up. If Andy needs some help securing the perimeter, then that's what we do. Yep. Die Schaukel. Mann, dass es so einen Ort noch gibt, Alter. Das hier sieht ja echt schön aus. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. When was the last time it got any use? Mm, been quite a while. I don't exactly have a lot of kids visiting anymore. I look forward to the day when kids can just be kids again. Amen to that. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat. And some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Okay. Überhaupt. Äh, Gerade eben Asterix fragt ja, wie kam es zu der Leiche, zu mir zum Hotel. Ähm, wir haben jemanden gerettet, der wurde noch nicht gebissen, hat aber trotzdem anscheinend, ähm, ja... Die Zombie-Gene, so wie wir alle, anscheinend soll es so sein, dass alle diesen Virus haben, wenn sie halt sterben. Das heißt, man muss bei jedem das Gehirn ausrotten. Anscheinend, wir wissen es noch nicht genau. Und da ist es halt passiert, da ist er halt gestorben, weil, ihm halt, weil wir ihm halt das Bein amputieren mussten. Und ja, zum Glück ist es recht gut ausgelaufen am Ende. Also wir haben da echt noch mega Glück gehabt, um es mal so zu sagen. Das nur mal so kurz erwähnt nebenbei. Mark. So what's your read on Andy so far? Think they'd be open to letting us stay? Getting the perimeter secured is gonna help us a lot. We'll be getting in good and making this place safer for us. I'm gonna get back to it. So. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. You know, like us. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Okay. Hmm. Ja, wir bleiben trotzdem hier. Auch wenn die Vermutung nah sein könnte, dass da irgendwas Stisselartiges am Laufen war, aber naja. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Okay. Ah, der Zaun ist mega groß. Das ist doch vor allem Ding das Geile. Oder mehr gesagt das Schlechte jetzt dran. Do you think we're doing enough to get the St. John's to like us? Well, we don't want to seem over anxious. Showing them we can handle this fence is gonna go a long way. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. <lacht> What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. No. Oh. There's one. Ugh. That's noch ein Pfeil. 
Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Who do you think he was? At least it's not one of us. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Ah, uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Mm. Disgusting. Is he? Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Eigentlich müsste sein Hirn auch durchgebraten sein im Normalfall. So wie Elektrizität funktioniert, müsste das eigentlich funktionieren. Vor allem, wenn er hier und hier angeschlossen ist, dann müsste eigentlich ein gesamter Stromkreis da eigentlich theoretisch nur dazwischen, aber da, na, eigentlich, wenn er so anfasst, dann bewegt sich eigentlich eh überall, ja. Sagen wir, es ist blöd. Aber es kann sein, dass je nachdem auch einer überlebt, aber so sicher bin ich mir jetzt natürlich auch nicht. Weil wir haben ja nichts anderes mög als Möglichkeit übrig. Oh nein. Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. Ach du Scheiße. Ganz vorsichtig. You never get used to the smell, do you? <lacht> nope. <lacht> Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. Gut, dass ich ihm das Essen gegeben habe. Just try to focus on the task. They knew what they were doing, teasing us with food and then giving us chores. Uh, having a good meal will be worth it. Oh, scheiße. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <coughs> Oh nein, ich hoffe da. Ich hoffe, der ist wirklich durchgebraten. Jetzt habe ich wirklich Schiss. Jetzt habe ich wirklich Schiss. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. What the? Scheiße, wir hätten nicht hierher kommen sollen. Sei hier. Scheiße. Ach du Scheiße. The blades are stuck in the dirt. What about our arrangement? We're out again, my asshole. You assholes, did you really think you could fuck with us? Give us the food! Now there you are! 
können wir nicht rumbewegen. Wir hatten Ah. Oh, Scheiße. Oh, ich bin nicht gelaufen. Was? Ich muss laufen. Oh. Verdammte Scheiße. Wie viele Pfeile haben die noch? What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. Zwei, weißt du noch? Lass es vergessen. Scheiße. War also doch klar, dass irgendjemand... Alter, war doch irgendwie klar, dass da jemand übernehmen musste. Oh. Oh nein. Hinter dir. Oh, gut. Let's get out of here. out there holy shit are, are you okay bandits here on our property oh my lord what happened to you sweetheart it was those bastards in the woods mama yeah i'll be all right once it's out god damn it hurts hey y'all mark oh my god what happened he got shot with an arrow christ are you gonna be okay yeah i'm fine i should just man muss den rausziehen. Man muss den trotzdem rausziehen, Alter. Was willst du mit einem Pfeil im Rücken? Was kind of shit ist das? Wir Carly said this place was locked down tight. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. 
take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope you kids like swings. A swing? I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Naja, ich sag's mal so, zur Diskussion, ob man einen Pfeil oder einen Gegenstand drin lassen sollte oder nicht. Ich kann es grundsätzlich verstehen, einen Gegenstand drin zu lassen. Aber jetzt stellt euch vor, ihr habt einen Pfeil im Rücken. Wollt ihr diesen Pfeil durchgehend in eurem Rücken haben? Nur, nur, so, nur so mal nebenbei. Es geht jetzt nicht um, was besser ist, äh, aber... Ich meine, ich hätte keinen Bock drauf. Sagen wir es mal so. Ich glaube, kann man auch nachvollziehen. Ich meine, stellt euch vor, ihr hättet einen Pfeil in eurem Rücken, Alter. Gerade so ein Pfeil, da hätte ich gar keinen Bock überhaupt nur annähernd. Sind wir Ach, keine Ahnung. Lassen wir mal. Hey Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. <laughs> are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? Yeah, I'm lucky out there. It would have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I'm not sure, Clem. I hope so. I hope so too. All right, Clem, that's enough for now. Okay, thanks for pushing me. Of course, it's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. <laughs> Hey Lee, how's it going with the St. John's? Good. I was talking to Andy earlier and offered him <coughs> assistance on the dairy. I don't think they have much to protect them besides the fence, though he seemed pretty appreciative. Great. Sounds like they're starting to accept us. Definitely. How are you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah. But I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here. I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch him go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you've got a pretty clear head on <laughs> <about laughs> so it. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? Well, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. 
Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Kancha can have an easier life here. That's funny, considering you didn't seem too worried about Duck back at Herschel's farm. That's in the past, Kenny. A lot's happened since then. Yeah, right. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. Sounds like they're pretty amped up about it. This might be a good way to earn their trust. Good idea. They look happy. Uh huh. Good. Oh yeah, this will be nice. We'll have the others rumnerven. Oh yeah, mini. 